At Olive Semiconductor, we're breaking that barrier that prevent you from getting into the ML space for facial detection, for speech recognition, for object classification. <laughs> Olive Semiconductor exists because we're addressing significant gaps in the marketplace for microcontrollers and microprocessors. If we look across our competing products, we see these gaps stemming from a lack of scalability, integration, low power, even security. But one of the most significant gaps that we've identified is the lack of solutions for machine learning at the edge. And this gap, starting at the bottom, is pretty much begins where standard MCUs end and goes all the way up to the beginning of where GPU solutions begin. So Olive is uniquely addressing this middle ground. So it's true that standard MCUs can address you know, simple ML tasks like keyword spotting or failure detection, but as soon as you add heavier ML tasks like facial detection or speech recognition or object classification, now you're talking hundreds of gig operations per second of performance is needed and MCUs can't deliver that. So before Olive came along, to reach those minimum levels of performance, designers had to jump all the way up to the high end where the GPU class is, those are tera operations per second, way overkill, too much power consumption, too costly, too big, and that's an issue for many of those applications. So this is where the new frontier, if you will, where Olive MCUs live. We deliver 100 gig operations per second performance. At the same time, we're uh, reducing power consumption and inference time by 50x compared to microcontrollers on, on the low end. And on the high end, the GPU side, we represent just a fraction of the cost, the power, the, the complexity, and the size in, in that area. So we, we think this will change the way designers think about what they can do now with, compared to what they couldn't do before and thinking of wearables, hearables, uh, security systems, a biometric ID, retail, all these low power ML applications fall in this category that we can now address. At the time of our first SOC design, Olive was very early to adopt the latest IP from ARM in terms of Cortex-A, Cortex-M CPU cores, even a new Ethos neural processing unit. In fact, Olive was the first semi-supplier to generate a product that had both a Cortex-M55 and Ethos U55 on the die that generated amazingly efficient performance. The edge computing market is driving toward monolithic solutions that are lower cost, lower power, smaller size, at the same time higher performance and more security. Alice's philosophy is to achieve this perfect balance on die of a mixture of multi-core compute, memory, bus fabric, analog and digital peripherals, security, power management, and we did that, but that created a very complex design. So from the get-go, we partnered with Cadence on their state-of-the-art EDA tools using their digital full flow, and we've never looked back. Key for us is excellence in ARM IP compatibility, PPA efficiency, simulation, power analysis, all the way to timing closure sign-off using Tempest. Cadence has been a true partner throughout this entire journey with excellent support, saving us so much time. Finally, I'd like to say that Alice Semiconductor is very excited to close this market gap, and we can see that our customers share that same excitement in their new designs. Olive has many more SLC designs in the pipeline that push the envelope even further, and I'm very happy to know that Cadence will continue to be our EDA partner through this journey as well.